Hi everybody, it's time for an upgrade. Here's my Ambition Jib Snow Skate, which is the one with the plastic bottom. And here is my new Ambition Team Series Snow Skate, which is the one that has more of a bottom similar to a snowboard or a ski. And so in this video, I wanna do a comparison between the Jib and the Team Series and see what the difference is. And so I'm going to start off with some flat ground stuff just in my driveway and doing some tricks that I usually do on a snow skate, starting off with a shove it there. And back in December when I was recording these, I shot a bunch of slow-mos just because I like it. And a heel flip there. And I think I finish off the flat ground here with a goofy looking kick flip, but that's what mine usually look like. So now let's go to the team series and see if there's any difference on flat ground. I immediately noticed that this snow skate, the team series, is a lot faster on the snow. I'm going through a couple inches of fresh snow here in my driveway and the slide, just the speed, is way faster. And I'll get a couple basics here. Here's another one of those weird diving kick flips, but at least it is one that I landed, so I'll take it. And as we go into the rail with the jib again, I can say already that you can feel a difference between the two snow skates on flat ground in the response time, in the time it takes for you to actually try to pop, push down with your back foot, and the way the board responds. The jib is plastic, so it's a little more flexible, and you'll be able to see that really easily on the rail here. When I get up on the rail and some board slides, you can see that the jib bends a little bit. And that's not really a bad thing, it's just something different, something to notice. But that does affect its response when you're trying to pop something. So the Team Series does feel, um, on these initial tests, does feel a lot more like an actual skateboarding. It's a lot stiffer and a lot quicker to respond to what you wanna do with it. And so on the rail here, I've done a few things that I typically do on a snow skate. Got a couple of front boards. On the jib, I get some back backside board slides and then a couple variations out. I got front board shove before and then I think here toward the end, oh, there's another front board shove where I almost run over the camera, which is why I have to hop off. And then here's one more cleaned up front board with a shove, coming out to regular. And then last but not least, one of my favorite tricks to do on the snow skate on my little rail in my driveway is front board, come out fakey and big spin out. And on this one, I almost got it, my feet landed on it and then I came off. But then on this next uh, clip, I'll finally get one that I was kind of happy with. I have some toe drag, but I'm going to take this one. So now let's take the team series to the rail and see if I notice a difference. And I've already kind of talked about it. This board is much stiffer and the bottom is faster on the snow. Well, the bottom is also faster on the rail. It has a little bit of a different feel, not enough that I was thrown off or anything. And once I adjusted to the speed, I think I do like it better. And so here's a couple of those standards again, front board, front board shove was in there. And then here's front board, big spin out. One of my favorites. So just the other day, I was feeling really good after getting all of those. Then I decided I was gonna try to big spin onto the rail. So big spin front board. I've only done this once before and that was last year. And this year I haven't gotten it yet again, but I've gotten really close. Dang, that was a really good spin. And maybe it's my imagination, but being able to get the board to spin up onto the rail felt really good. And maybe that's the team series helping me get some more pop. I don't know yet. Now I just have to land it. Oh man, that doesn't count. And while I continue this little persistence but session going after the Big Spin here, front board, it. just a final kind of wrap up comparison of the two boards. I think ah. if you're asking yourself, uh, I want a snow skate, but I don't know which one to get. And these are ambition, both of them, of course. If, if you should get a jib or if you should get a team series. And I think the answer to, to that is how much are you going to snow skate? And are, is it gonna be something you really pursue or is it something you're just playing around with to have some fun? 
The jib is a good entry level option. It's a little cheaper, a little more affordable, but I think it still works really well and you can have a lot of fun on it. But if you do wanna do a lot of snow skating and you really wanna to try to get better at it, you live in a very snowy place where you can do this a lot, then maybe the team series is the right choice for you. And it's not a real session until I knock over the camera. But anyway, here's a little summary of what I decided about the two different snow skates. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.